shopping. In today's modern age, sometimes real life shopping is unavoidable. That's because most of the stuff in Wellington shops is not great, so I shop online. In real life, shopping is filled with annoyances. That emergency dash to the supermarket when you're out of milk. The clothes shop when you have nothing in your bulging wardrobe. That urgent makeup run when you only have 10 beige lipsticks. Actually, that last one is a lie. Everything on my face is ordered online. My face comes from the internet. Without the internet, I'd look like this. There is a cast of annoying characters you meet when you go real life shopping. Let's go real life shopping, shall we? The bored boyfriend moping around the dress shop. Why do girlfriends insist on bringing their bored boyfriends into dress shops? They mooch around the shop, trailing after their girlfriends. They smile weakly at every boring item she holds up. He's not going to say he doesn't like the thing that she's holding up. He just wants her to try it on, buy it, and get the fuck out of the shop. These bored boyfriends always manage to stand in my way. Move away from the shopper, dude. Can't you see us rifling through the rows and rows of clothes that you're standing right in front of? Do you not understand how shopping works? We all know you don't want to be the person there. The only person who doesn't realize it is your girlfriend. So until she works it out, get out of my way. Why do they have to be an inconvenience to me? The shop blocker. These shoppers appear in the doorways of shops all over the busy city. You can usually spot them standing in the doorway of the shop that you want to go into. They appear to be able to walk into a shop properly and they can find the item they need and even purchase it. But exiting the shop seems to create some kind of confusion and they're overcome with the sudden need to check through their bags and they can only do this in the doorway of the shop that I'm trying to get into. It's like they can't exit the shop without annoying the shit out of me. They stand there, shop blocking, fumbling through assorted bags and packages, forcing me to make my way around an idiot who already has their purchase. Why do they have to be an inconvenience to me? Supermarket Road Rager Supermarkets bring out the worst in me. There is something invigorating about welding a supermarket trolley like a teenager at a burnout rally. I am a menace. I'm dangerous and childish and possibly drunk. And I love it. I can spot my victim a mile away. The person whose trolley is blocking the aisle. No consideration for other people. I am now activated. I charge up the aisle, glaring at the morn with their stupid trolley parked in the middle of the shopping aisle. At the last minute, they move their trolley out of my way. It almost makes it even more annoying. It's like they knew they were in the way and they just didn't care. I'd like to think my passive-aggressive trolley wielding taught them a valuable lesson. But I'm sure they learned nothing from our interaction and they'll keep blocking aisles all over the supermarket. Why do they have to be an inconvenience to me? The mall slowpokes. I know people get old. I know they can't walk as fast as they used to. But why do these grannies insist on walking in the middle of the mall shopping highway? Malls are wide enough for everyone. You just have to stay near the side of the walking zone. Not in the middle, but to the side. See how easy it is for me to explain that? Why do the Golden Moldies ever do this? Why do they have to be an inconvenience to me? Giggles of giggling girls. I can't believe I was ever as annoying as the schoolgirls that crowd the shops that I love shopping in. I'm talking diva jewelry, makeup maker, glasses. Yep, I name checked. I shop there, I'm not hiding it. What does frustrate me are the giggles of giggling girls. These girls move as a group of gigglement and they seem to be everywhere at the same time. I hate being stuck inside a shop with the squeals and shrieks of these goddamn children. Seriously, if you're not going to buy anything, fuck off so those with money can actually spend it. They crowd around trying on clothes and getting their friends' opinions in the changing rooms. Oh, that super short skirt really suits you. If she needs her friends' opinions to convince her to buy something, then maybe she shouldn't buy it. Just a thought, but don't let my opinion shape your purchasing options. More annoying are the girls that don't intend on buying anything. They just want to try it on, probably take selfies, and then return it to the shop rails. Nice! What if an actual person wanted to buy that thing you just tried on for no good reason? A lost sale? Does it matter? Yes, it does matter. 
Stop being so self-centered and think about the shitty blue-haired girl in the dressing room next to you. Why do they have to be such an inconvenience to me? So the next time you're in the supermarket and you see a blue-haired bitch-faced glamour twinkles charging at you, look where your trolley is. Is it facing the right direction? Yes, they're good. I'm probably not mad at you. Next time you stop in a shop doorway looking for a blue-haired girl stomping towards you, she's about to really brush past you. And next time you and your giggling gang are trying on clothes that you're not going to buy, keep your noise down. I'm too old to strut around in miniskirts. Oh, and if you're old and you're in a mall, look out for a blue-haired girl who's angrily walking behind you, trying to pass. This has been an episode of Glamour Twinkles, Blue-Haired Girl in an Angry, Angry, Blue-Haired World. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on this blog post where I vented my spleen on opinions that are important to me. Thank you for watching. Ding 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 ding